All right, so this is video four. This is the transmission flush. Uh, this is a definitely a more intimidating job than the front and rear diff for the transfer case. That stuff's really easy. The transmission might be easy. I've never done it before. I'm at 50,000 miles. Uh, you don't have to do it until 60,000 per Toyota under heavy towing. I guess it used to be 100,000 miles. I don't know. I'm at 50. I drive the crap out of this truck a lot. You know, I'm always, you know, sometimes you get stuck and you're in mud and you're revving it and, you know, just beat on it a little bit, you know. So I'm just trying to do some preventative maintenance. Um, it's kind of a unique way to do it. I don't know if it's a 100% great idea of doing it this way. I found the write-up. It seems straightforward. I'm going to show you on the video how it goes. And hopefully by the time I'm done editing this, my truck is still happy and working. And in the description doesn't say something like, don't do this. Because it screws up your trans. So hopefully it just changed some fluid. Well, let's get started. All right, so now here we are for the transmission. This is the video that I'm sure a lot of people are gonna wanna see because I looked for one and I didn't find one. So, this is the fill plug. as it drips into my mouth. This is drain plug and this is how high you need to fill it plug. This is how high you need to fill a plug. Wasn't filming on it. Now I'm filming on it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to loosen the fill pole. Oh, this is set to tight. There's a rubber O-ring on here, you gotta be careful, you just don't want to damage it. There it is. It's the rubber O-ring. So according to the write-up, it says take note of exactly how much comes out. So let's see. I'm curious to see how dirty this shit is. Oh my god. Oh, it's not even that bad. No, it's clean. Well, not that bad. 50,000 miles of abuse. It's pretty dirty. Yeah, look at how dark it is. Alright, put the drain plug back in. This is the last time for this job that I'll actually have to deal with the drain plug. Okay, let's see. So the fill hole is up here. Mm. I got pump. This is going to be number one. I'm going to put uh, 2.75 in. so much faster than diff fluid. So, after we pumped those three quarts in, the next step was identify the proper line. So you see these two lines? This is the one you want. It's on the outside, and if you follow this hose, it's, it's the inlet tube, right? So it's gonna pump it through the whole system and come out here. So in order to get this off, I had to use pliers on this clamp, squeeze it, slide this back, once I slid it far enough back, it slid right off, and a bunch of fluid, just right there, yeah, came out of that hose, which I should have known, which I knew it was going to happen, but I was just getting antsy. And now I'm going to slide my clear tubing over this and run it into a marked, that's a beaker, uh, otherwise you just want to have, you want to know how much fluid you're pumping at any time. So that's why I'm using a beaker, or you could use a gallon marked off with where the quarts are so that you know what you're talking about. So like I'm using one of these uh, and it has all the markings on it. You could use whatever you want 
uh, but just you just you know transmissions you don't want to mess with so you want to make sure you know how much fluids coming in and out of your transmission at any given point I've drained three quarts there is the pump just chilling right now I pumped three back in and now there you go put the clear tubing on here okay update <laughs> luckily I had this other hose because I couldn't get that clear one on to save my life I don't know I tried stretching it out with like a needle nose and then I put some relief cuts in it to try to get it just over the lip maybe you could have eventually got it but I knew I had this hose which is obviously a little short but I'm gonna get something to prop it up so it's not too big a deal and I do have a clear jug so I'll see the fluid not a big deal this slid over no problem it's I don't think it's gonna come off very easy it's always gonna build too much pressure It's my assistant Dave. Hey Dave. Hey. So we're going to shoot for 2.5 quarts. I'll just tell you when to shut it off. But I'm going to let you just start it and idle it. Alright, it's pump time. Ready? Ready. That is definitely three quarts, but no more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go ahead. Kill it. Damn, that's looking damn near clean. So what I'm gonna have you do on this next one, is we're gonna do it one more time. The next one you're gonna hold the brake and push it to all the gears. And it's engaging his gears. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Now we gotta put the original hose back on. So we take the old this hose off. My trans hose. My trans hose. And then this guy goes back on. So what you're looking at here, this is the line. I had to use a, a pliers. Let it focus for a second. I had to use a pliers on here to both remove that hose and to get it back on. I slid it on and I could feel the hose, the metal part, a little bit past right here. And I felt all the other ones and it feels about the same. Uh, so I think I'm all good there. I'll probably wipe this off a little bit. Uh, but now we're moving on to the next step. So we've done, we've pumped as much as we need to pump. Pump's still in the truck right now. Um, and we're gonna move on to the next step. It's gonna be putting the fill cap on getting it up to uh, idling temperature, and then checking the fill level. And 
and we need our transmission. Now there is a step if you don't have a scan gauge that I'll put a link to the description that you have to connect a wire to the OBD connector and then there's a whole little, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But because I have a scan gauge, you can see the temperature, it's at 84. I need to let it idle until it gets to the 115 or 130 that it'll get to. Okay, so we're underneath the truck. Transition's in at about 120. I loosened this a little bit already, but I put some gloves on. You gotta do this part with the truck running. And what you want it to do is it, hopefully it drips out, and then we want it to just get to a slow, a steady, a slow, steady stream, and that's when you put it back in and it's good. In theory. Alright, so it was a little overfilled. right there all right and like I said you always want to go back and torque everything down you don't want to mess around with this stuff you know you take all this time to do this for your truck get it if you don't have a torque wrench get one borrow one use it so that you don't ever have to worry about it perfect well that's it we finished the job I'll double check this guy real quick. Make sure it's snug. And it is. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching uh, how to change the transmission fluid. It already feels like it's idling better, so it's. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. If there's any issues or anything, I'll definitely put it in the description or just edit it in after the video. Um, ended up flushing out about. Uh, use what? What do we use? 13 or 14? 13 and a half. About 13 and a half quarts flushing through the whole system. It holds about 11. You know, so you, you take some out, you put some in. I have a few quarts left. Um, it was actually pretty easy. I thought it was going to be a lot more It was a pretty intimidating job at first, you know. You don't want to mess with your trans, but it was easy and uh, I'm happy with it. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm feel fairly confident that uh, the ride home will be a good one. So. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate every view, and uh, that's why I do it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something, and uh, you get to save yourself some money in the long run. So take it easy.